you know? To be fully honest, I am not sure if this will be the best or the worst financial decision I've ever made. As you can see over there, this movie has a two and a half star movie rating. But you guys wanted me to watch it and review it, so let's give it a shot. Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the world. So today I'm starting a new series called Is It Really That Bad? It, this is the show where I review bad movies, well said bad movies, bad products, bad anything. So, I, so that pretty much means I'll be wasting my money on these things so you don't have to. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about a movie that came out this past year. Uh, and it really doesn't have a lot of people talking. It's based on a musical of the same name. Now, as I'm sure you guys are all aware, the Rotten Tomatoes score is how critics rate and review their movies. Well, it's how they rate and review movies. If a movie is at like 100% on the Rotten Tomatoes score, that's certified fresh. Like, it's a good movie. Anywhere between like, between like 60% and 100% is like fresh. But some movies aren't that lucky and some movies aren't rated as high. And that's why they get 59% to 0%, which means that they're rotten. So today we are going to take a look at a movie that, to be honest, is like one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And it's called Cats. So Cats is basically a musical film similar to any Disney movie, except this musical movie is actually based on a musical of the same name that was made back in 1981 by Andrew Lloyd Webber. Um, Tom Hooper per directed this movie. He also directed Les Mis the much more successful Les Miserables. Um, this movie stars James Corden, Judi Dench, Jason Derulo, Idris Elba, Jennifer Hudson, Taylor Swift, Rebel Wilson, and then Francesca Hayward. So, pretty all-star, pretty all-star cast. The problem with this movie was mostly the CGI. Now, when I saw the movie, I thought that the CGI was pretty crap. I really did. And this movie was considered a ba basically an off, 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 box office bomb. And if you don't know what that means, it means basically it, it, it severely underperformed and it didn't make as much money as the budget. So like if a, if a budget of the movie was like 80 to 100 million dollars and in the box office it only made 75.4 million dollars and that, that means it went it didn't make as much as the budget. So that'd be considered a, a box office bomb. <clears throat> now, when I'm when talking about this movie, I did not think it made any sense. Not at all. I was very confused during the whole entire thing, and pretty much the the movie was basically just songs. Like, if I'm counting here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 songs in this entire movie. 20 songs. Um, and really the one thing I had to complain about was there was not enough, there was literally not enough dialogue. Like I did not make, it did not make any sense during the entire movie. Like I didn't understand it. I'm sure that people who saw the movie did not understand the entire movie. And I've never seen the musical, so I have nothing to compare it to. But all I have to say is it, it was it was pretty terrible, in my opinion. So if we're going to talk about awards, um, the awards that, they, that this movie has had is, is um, more on the negative side. Because, well, this movie won six Golden Raspberry Awards. And what they are, what the Raspberry Awards are, the, or the Razzie Awards, 
Um, basically, celebrating the, or I should say, celebrating the worst movies out there. Like the, the movie won Worst Picture, Worst Director, Worst Supporting Actor, which was James Corden, Worst Supporting Actress, Rebel Wilson, Worst Screenplay, and Worst Screen Combo with two half feline, half human hairballs. So that's that's pretty disgusting, in my opinion. But it's all true. I mean, I did not like this movie one bit. But I know that this movie has has its fans. I'm sure that people who love the musical saw this and loved it too. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those people because I never saw the musical. I was actually supposed to I was actually supposed to see the musical this May and I didn't see, and I'm not able to see it because of the circumstances. But I would have been looking I would have looked forward to seeing the musical cuz I bet you 1000% that the musical would have been better than the movie. So, yeah. So if you guys want to go rent this movie, um, it's available everywhere. Um, available on Amazon Prime, um, iTunes. I got my copy on PlayStation. Um, but it's available everywhere. You can buy it or you can rent it. I rented it because I did not want to see the movie more than once. So if you want to rent it, uh, four 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 ninety nine to five ninety nine on most streaming platforms like iTunes, Amazon Prime, etc. etc. But I wouldn't recommend watching this movie. If you want to go watch it, then it's your funeral. So let me know what you think of the movie. What did you think of the movie? If you've ever seen Cats, let me know in the comments below. And also let me know in the comments below what else I should review on the next episode of Is It Really That Bad? I'm going to do this every other Thursday. So if you have a suggestion of what I should review next, uh, leave me a comment down below. And also um, leave me a question down below because I'd really like to do an app, another Ask Steven um, next Thursday. So that'd be pretty cool if you guys could just leave me some questions. Don't ask me if I have twenty dollars, cause I don't. I don't have twenty dollars. I know exactly who asks that, but I'm just letting you know, I do not have twenty dollars. So, leave me a question, leave me a comment about what I should review next, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.